You were standing there in the airport in the moonlight. The wind from the propeller was blowing the dress. Let me through. Hair. Hey! Mr. Matthews, Ooh. I am Hortense Heather Feather, well known League of the Abolition of Taxation, 800 members. The government should be earning its own money just like the rest of us. Okay. Let go of me. Right. Abolish right. taxation. Right, right. Sir! Right. I have freedom of speech. Yeah, you'll have it and outside. And I oh, have right. spoken. <laughs> yeah, you can have your freedom Good day. outside. Come on, Think man. about this. Yeah. Come on. That's right. Oh, That's do a not girl. touch me anymore. Matthew's obvious presidential timber, what, you are tree? Beg your pardon? It's no good solution. What's that? You to make president. You've got a better solution. Of course I have. Only last night I say to a husband, all the men in all of the governments in the whole world, they should all be put into jail. Husband say, why you talk so communist? I say, shut up. You know I have no peace in the world. No women in government. You put two roosters together. Roosters, no brains. They fight, they fight. Put together 15 roosters. What you have? 15 roosters fight. Put together 15 hen. What you have then? 15 egg. The roosters there fighting in the Congress and London in Paris everywhere. Why? No hand in government. For you to make president, no good solution. Your wife. This is good solution. Jim! Hello, Jim. What are you doing here? She thinks you should run for president. Oh, that is my solution! Oh, that's silly! No woman could ever run for president. She'd have to admit she was over 35. Bosvidanya, that means in Russian, see you later, alligator. I, uh, turned on the radiator and I opened the windows and... <gasps> Are you Grant Matthews? Let me shake your hand. Oh, that speech you made, it was just swell. It was the best speech that I ever heard. I'm just so glad that you're with us. Yeah, I've had this job a long time. I inherited it from my mother. I got four kids. It's kind of expensive these days, you know. With it. Anyway, you give him a good speech. You give it to him tonight, Mr. Matthews. Oh, by the way, it's got onions. Mr. Matthews, I just wanted to tell you that all the gang down in the kitchen will be listening to you tonight. Oh, oh. fine. Fine. You do that. Down there, they say that you are not one of those politicians. You're not, are you, Mr. Matthews? No, no, I'm not. I knew it! You give it to him. You give it to him tonight, Mr. Matthews. Jim. Anybody home? Hello, Judge. I'm Spikey Davis. Remember me? Indeed, I do. It's a great pleasure seeing you again, sir. This is Mrs. Matt. How did you do? Oh, Mrs. Uh, Matthews. Judge and Mrs. Alexander. It's a great honor to be here. And I sentence your husband to four years in the White House. And I think I can safely promise the votes of at least five southern states. In the election? I said southern states, ma'am. Republican Party, we only count as far as a convention. Well, that reminds me. When I was a small boy, I used to... Uh, <laughs> I'll see you later, Judge. Uh, it was a great honor meeting you, sir. Who is he? He's a newspaper man, a friend of my husband's. Oh, bourbon for you, Judge? You're in the mine. I 
think he can't read my mind. Mm, Sazerac, I believe. Ooh, Mel, your reputation's getting too well known. Do you know how to make a Sazerac? Yeah, I think so. Jeff, honey, if you only just think so, you better make that Sazerac. Yes, honey, pie. I'm especially glad that you were able to come tonight, Mrs. Alexander. I'm afraid we women are going to be outnumbered tonight. Oh, I'm always outnumbered whenever I go out with my husband's Republican friends. I always tell my hostess that while Jeff is a Republican, I am a Democrat. Oh, but you can speak freely. There is nothing about this administration that you Republicans can say that's mean enough for us Democrats down south. Would you like the little martini? No, just a thought. Hello, Grant. Hello. Where have you been? Buddy, sorry I'm late. Rehearsing your speeches? Go ahead. Nobody told me not to dress. On you, it looks good. Well, Judge. Grant. You're not going to drink that thing, are you? You're on the program, you know. Mary, you should know better than... This is Mrs. Alexander. Hello, Mrs. Alexander. How do you do? Mr. Matthews. Handsome, isn't he? You are the first good reason I ever saw to vote Republican. I told you why I felt it. Oh, I understand they're a necessary evil. Well, you know, our southerners down south, we vote Democrat, but we've got an awfully good Republican record in the Congress. <laughs> Relax, fella. All you got to do is worry about a third term. <laughs> Nobody told me not to dress. Well, isn't that what you're all about, Ed? Dress labor in evening clothes and let the rest of us go without. What oh, can you know, Miss Thorndike? Wherever did you get that night in Detroit? I searched all over that banquet hall for you. I, I didn't go to the banquet. Well, isn't that why you were in Detroit? To hear Grant's speech? Were you in Detroit when Grant and I were there, Kate? Well, you must have seen her, Mary. She was on her way up to your suite. No, I didn't see Kay in Detroit. You must have dropped in to talk to Grant about his big business speech. Oh, that's a big business speech of Grant. That was all right. Especially that part about the high tariff, right, Ed? Oh, yeah. So, you changed Grant in Detroit. Hello, Judge. Drinking with both hands now. He's <laughs> blue, Belle. I'm so hungry for some good Republican talk brunch, too. Oh, you're an angel, honey. I'll take one of those, Judge. Harry, what are you doing with that? Well, if we're going to have a high tariff, I may as well get a little high myself. <laughs> well, for Pete's sake, those are liquid dynamite. Too bad I didn't have any in Detroit. Honey, better bring me another one right quick. Yeah, sure, Belle. Will you make another one for me, too? Sure, sugar. I, I mean, ma'am. Oh, well, they are strong, aren't they? Sure, they like. What's in them? I don't know. You mean you've been drinking these for years and you have no idea what's in them? All I know is it makes you feel good. Well, I'm different from Brad. I'd rather be tight than be president. You're on a spot. You've got to be ready to do some quick thinking. Oh, spy, don't worry. I'm a thick quinker. Oh, brother. Yeah, honey, you two have stood up real bad on that one, honey. I did. You sure did. Oh, I did. What did I say? You said thick quinker. <laughs> I think I'll be able to make the farmer's case if I do say so. Indeed. Who could speak for the farmer better than you, Mr. Lauterbach? Thank you, Mrs. Matthews. Not at all. Who else could make hay on the Capitol lobby? <laughs> 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 I thought that was funny, too. <laughs> like, I haven't enjoyed myself so much <laughs> since you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do anymore. I, I, I just want to.